growth mindset for us in St Anthony's allowed us to look at what we needed to change in order to become the very best learners that we can be. And I mean that across the board. It wasn't just for the children, it was for our staff members as well. We hadn't realised that a lot of our, what we felt was good learning was actually behavioural. And we really needed to dig a bit deeper to say, well, how do we transfer that on to making our children become learners? And it was we had to change how we looked at things as well about it was okay to make mistakes, that's how we learn. It was about all that acceptance that we didn't have to be perfect all the time. And sometimes for teachers, that's the expectations. Teachers don't make mistakes or teachers are not allowed to make a mistake. But actually, we all make mistakes and that's okay. So for us, it allowed us to look at ourselves and how, how do we develop as professionals? Are we, we, do we always do the things that we enjoy doing because we're good at them and avoid the things that are a bit more difficult and those really are the things we need to be working on? And that allowed us then to transfer our journey and share it with the children as well. Although the literacy was doing really well and strong, more numeracy, the children's attitude to it wasn't what we want it to be. And just at that time, um, the Women in Scotland Foundation came along and um, offered two things. First of all, it helped us look at growth mindset, which we felt was important, and also the training was online. So we had that amount of flexibility, which I thought would be really useful for the staff. I am very, very blessed. I have the privilege and honour of working with the most fantastic professionals every day. And we very much like to do things together um, because we feel that's, that's a very powerful um, model that works really, really well for St Anthony's because of the staff I have, because they're all very keen to be trained and to do their very best for their children. So everybody was doing the course. That allowed us to have real, true, in-depth professional dialogue in the staff room, on the stairwell, in the classrooms, because we were all doing it together, including SMT. It was really handy all working together because we were able to, so it was online learning, but a lot of us would go to the ICT suite and do it together because you would sit and talk and compare and go, oh, I didn't actually think about it that way. Or if you were starting off your project and you're thinking, I'm not really sure I'm going the right way with this, what are you doing with yours? We had that discussion and it was nice to have other people to rely on and support you through the project. So it was, it's nicer doing things together than just on your own. And it's so powerful that even last year when we had two new probationers join us, they actually approached me and said, can you get us on this course? We want to be part of this. So you create that culture um, of us doing things collectively, collaboratively, but we know it's in the interest of all of us because, again, just like the children, we can ask each other, oh, I'm, I'm doing that sign. What did you think of that video? I didn't really get that. And somebody else will give you their perception of what they thought it was. So it's, it's very powerful. It's very, very powerful. And then you've got a consistent approach in all the classrooms. So every classroom's got a learning pit. Every class will talk about growth mindset. So it's not just if you happen to have a good teacher one year who's into growth mindset and the next year it's a completely different. So that that's really beneficial for our children. So we started off by introducing what growth mindset was and what fixed mindset was and um, talking about the brain and how the brain can grow. Um, we also started doing a few STEM challenges to see where their mindset was. So if you gave them something, you didn't give them any help, what did they do? Yeah, a lot of them tried, some of them gave up straight away. I can't do this, this isn't going to happen. Um, so it was really seeing they can talk the talk, but can they walk the walk? They know what growth mindset is, they know the vocabulary around it, but can they use it? I've saw a massive change actually with a lot of the children, some that, that did give up straight away, some that would cry, are now going, no I'm going to give this a go, or I'm going to communicate with my friend because he's got a strategy that I don't know how to do, or they're talking about our learning pit, so if they start off and they can't do something, they see themselves dropping into that learning pit, and then they're saying, right, well how can I get back out of the learning pit, and it was quite funny because sometimes you would see them walking, like, I'm in the pit, <laughs> I'm stuck in the pit, but they were able to get themselves back out and they were able to talk with each other and myself about the strategies that they could use, and they were going for that hot challenge, they were going, well I like a challenge now because we were celebrating mistakes, so if they went for that challenge and didn't get it straight away, it was okay because we're going to learn from that, where did we go wrong, what can we do to fix it. If I found it difficult, I would usually just leave it out and go to the next, even though like I've been taught now that if you guess, at least you could get a chance of getting it right. Um, but I used to just leave it out or I used to like whisper to one of my friends like, do you know the answer? Um, but now like growth mindset has taught me to like, if I can't get it on my own, I ask a teacher or I ask a friend first if the teacher is busy. It has made learning fun. Children are much more comfortable about talking how they learn, what dispositions they need in order to become a successful learner. 
Now, if I think back to the, the you know, we've just come through this COVID-19 where children have been playing at, at home learning online, our children have had to realise, well, the same dispositions in school you have to apply at home. So again, with the teacher saying to them, you have to be resilient, you have to persevere, make connections, etc. They know what we're talking about. So it's now just become a way of life. It's taught me to obviously work harder and I think I'm doing a bit better in class now because the brain goes um, bigger if you make mistakes. So I'm more comfortable with making mistakes now. It's really changed the way that my class works. It's changed me as a teacher. The, the vocabulary that I use in my class has really altered since starting this because I'm thinking more about the learning and not just the task that we're doing and the kids are doing the same. We're, we're getting through it and we're excited for a challenge. We look forward to maths. I would not hesitate to recommend it to any of my colleagues out there. It's been very powerful and enjoyable. It really had us all thinking about ourselves as well as learners, which was um, interesting, quite scary at times, um, but absolutely grab it with both hands.